When I first met Dr. Miller, we met as neighbors. He started telling me a little bit about what he did at the UCSF Memory and Aging Center and how he worked with patients that had dementia, but a different sort of type than I'd ever heard of. And I was really intrigued by not only the, the compassion that he showed for the people that he was taking care of, but how interesting uh, the patients were in the families. Increasingly, our program at the Memory and Aging Center has focused around genes uh, that uh, are responsible for neurodegenerative diseases. There's increasing evidence that there are genes that in certain families will cause with 100% certainty the disorder and other genes that predispose to the disease. I think people become interested in learning about whether or not this is something that is inherited in their family to not only help the person that they've brought to see us, but to also understand whether this is something they'll be at risk for in the future for themselves or for their children. And part of my job is to help them understand the risks and benefits to knowing this information. The more people that we study, the more we'll understand about the disease. This is perhaps the most collaborative, multidisciplinary work that we do at the Memory and Aging Center. It is something that requires great caution and great thought. One of the things I'm most impressed with with the patients that we see is that these are very difficult problems that they have and they're willing to come in and help us with our research. When I see the courage that they bring to helping us with our research, I just feel incredibly honored to be a part of that team and to work in this kind of environment where people are trying to help people.